Hey everybody, welcome back, and we are here today with another Use It or Lose It. Today I'm going to be using the Tartist Pro To Go palette. I absolutely love these teeny little Tarte palettes, and they have that new one. I think it's called the Tarte Flirt, or Tartlet Flirt, or something. I'm going to be picking that up because I love this one and the Tartlet Tees that I have, so... Yes, <laughs> that one will be coming to me very soon, but today we're going to use this one, and I kind of want to go for like this cranberry color and just do kind of a fall look, um, and this is a look that I have not done before with this palette, so let's see how it goes. Let's get started on this. I did already prime my eyes with my Ulta Nude Matte Eye Primer, and then I went into the um, Tarte Sex Kitten palette and set my eyes with a combination of these first two colors, Roar and Sly. Um, I've really been reaching for this palette a lot lately in my non-filming days, so if you were on the fence, I love this palette. So now that we got that out of the way, um, let me also just say that the lighting today is really not ideal. It's very stormy outside, and even with the studio lights, the room is just so dark that it's not not working too well but <laughs> I'm only really home the one day a week so we're gonna film today come hell or high water <laughs> there actually might be high water it's really raining a lot <laughs> um I am going to take drive and stylin just mix them together and throw them into the upper crease transition area and we will start off with that I'm just gonna use this um, real techniques deluxe crease brush for that crease brush for that and I'm going to go more heavily into drive and then just take a little bit of styling. Oh, oh, that's a lot. These are really pigmented shadows, guys. Um, so beware when you're dipping into them. I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush, which fluffier brush. I cannot talk today, guys. I'm going to go in to drive with the fluffier brush and just kind of diffuse out that um, dark color that we just added. And as always, I do take my crease um, and create it pretty high up uh, because my natural one is very, very low and it leaves me almost no lid space. So you can modify this to put it in your real crease, whatever you have, um, to go with whatever your eye shape is. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a more targeted fluffy brush and take Stylin, which is the darker of the two colors that I just used, and just kind of concentrate it a little bit more on the inner and outer and just a teensy bit on the center. I'll just use whatever's left over to kind of blend it up there. Then we're just going to add that a little bit to the outer V and connect that with our um, crease transition type of area. I almost always have to create some sort of outer V shape to my eye because otherwise they just look kind of small and rounded and just not cute. Um, but if you obviously have bigger eyes, you could just keep this right to your eye shape. Tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> what I'm going to do right now is take the cranberry color and put it all in the center right here. And then I think I'm just going to take a teensy bit of the gold color and just put it right in the center of that. It's a little bit of a bullseye halo eye. <laughs> Look at how pretty that goes on. I think that I need, I need to use a smaller brush though because that one is a little bit too big to get right up into that upper portion. And if all else fails, use your finger. Sometimes, guys, a brush is just not doing it. I'm just going to take this brush again with just a tiny bit of Dominate on it and just kind of diffuse the edges all around where I place that shadow. I don't want it to be too harsh. Now I'm just going to take my finger and pat on right in the center of the purple um, a little bit of Hype, which is the gold color. And then right here in the corner, I lost a little bit of my dark styling color. So I'm going to put just a little bit right here 
to bring that deepness back um, and give us that halo effect again. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit on the outer edge. Sometimes with the blending, you know, you just blend it away and then you just gotta add it back in. Now I'm gonna go into Drive again with a fluffy brush and just merge everything together right along the perimeter. So now I'm just gonna do the lower lash line and we will take a mixture of Drive and Stylin, like always, just take both of those, run it all the way underneath the eye. I don't normally love to take um, the lower lash line all the way inside, but because this is a pretty dramatic eye, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, but it's really just personal preference. And then for the finale of the lower lash line, I am just going to take um, Dominate and do it from my colored part of my eye to the colored part of my eye. And then just take a little bit of the gold and put that right in the center of that. Basically, I like to always just mimic what I do on the top on the bottom. And then with the gold color, I placed it. It was really intense. I just blended it out a little bit until it was a little bit more seamless. Just the hint of gold instead of bam, gold. So now we are pretty much done with this eye. I'm going to use my highlighter for my face on the inner corner and brow bone. Okay guys, so here is the completed look. What do we think? Um, I'm gonna be honest, it's not my favorite look ever, but I feel like that's because it's a little bit more nighttime appropriate and I almost always prefer like daytimey looks because I just never really use a nighttime look, I guess, <laughs> but um, it's not bad. I don't mind it. I think if you are going for a nighttime feel or a more like dramatic vibe, this would definitely be right up your alley. Um, yeah, I, I'm not mad at it. I don't know if I would do it again though, but overall the palette, I've already put it away, but the palette I love. It's great. I love the colors in it and they are so nicely pigmented. So <laughs> that is it. Um, check the description box if you want to know what else is on my face. Um, and just to let you know, since this will probably be going up first, I am going to be also reviewing the um, CoverGirl Peacock Flare, the Revlon Brow Mousse, and I'm doing a hair care slash styling tips video um, for my hair. So <laughs> there you go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you next time. Bye.